And today's episode is again sponsored by Strongbow Original Cider with Tabasco, bacon and tomato on wholemeal brown bread and a glass of milk for the healthy option. Hello guys, on a very windswept Friday the 22nd of May. Um, Ellie, ooh, elephant, what's an elephant got to do with this mark? Start again. This is bed number two of the onions. Uh, and as you can see, I've weeded all of this and I gave it a quick <coughs> watering. It's going to have another watering, but it was just to settle some of the uh, soil down. So, so this is the salad bed. And this is just to show how painstaking I am going to be this year. As you can see, lots and lots of weed between each row. There's 11 rows. Um, you can actually see which ones are which. The radishes is quite straightforward. This is Zuna. Here's my little list. So we've got uh, beetroot, Dolorosa, beetroot, that's warm rockets. It's very wild. Radish is okay, you can see that. Mizuno can see that. Now this one is meant to be fennel. Now I haven't grown fennel before and I've suddenly noticed that they look like that. So all these other bits are obviously chickweed or whatever you want to call it. So I've got to go through painstakingly each individual one and take them out with my fingertips. So all you people out there that possibly have just stumbled across my channel and thought, wow, you know, gardeners, you know, it must be really easy. Yeah, it's really easy when you haven't got to do this. Um, but luckily, I didn't wet the list beforehand, purposely. And the wind is so bad, which you can probably hear on the microphone. When I've loosened the soil, it's blowing a lot of the winds away. Um, but there you go, that's my job for this small, well, for this lunchtime now. It's just after 12. You can see I've done a bit up there. Um, if I can get halfway, I can reach halfway. <clears throat> and all I'm doing is basically just the moment, just to basically just very gently loosen it. And normally I'd leave all of this in to rot as well. Seedlings in. I'm going to do it properly this time. I mean, it's a nice day. It's very breezy, but it's quite cool that is. So I've got to be careful my head though. Um, I'm going to get down here, it's about just before 11. And I didn't feel very well this morning really. Um, <clears throat> just aching and legs aching from yesterday. I think I overdid it yesterday. Um, and especially in the sun. So I'm taking it nice and easy today. So I'm sat down doing this. It's a nice height, as I said before I built these because I wanted to sit down. So I'm sat down. Just the right height for me to just have a little a little weed. But as I said, the soil's great. It's leaving it to dry at the moment. Do the weeding and then I'll give it a good soak and put the netting back on to stop the little pigeons. Well, they ain't bloody little round here. The big ones. Um, but yeah, so that's the fennel, what it looks like. So really, that's the only bed that's difficult to sort of Okay. Apart from some of the beetroots, where the where it's more pronounced is okay. But I've got beetroot on this edge here. I can see some of them. Further on up there, there's more of them. So it shouldn't take too. I can give it another half an hour. And I'll have had this cracked. He says. Anyway, guys, catch up with you later. Hello again, and here we go. Forty-five minutes later. There's a few weeds still in it, but it's not too bad. So I'm going to give it a good drench now. Drench. I found that as well as uh, if I loosened it, let the wind blow, it blew some of the weeds away from it, so that's pretty useful. Um, so there's a few gaps. Uh, that's all right. Beetroot mainly, but I've got some more plugs growing. So I've, learnt, I've definitely learnt now 
because that's one of the reasons why I did this. Things that you can actually see pretty quickly are great to, to sow in rows. If you've got chickweed, beetroot, you can leave it to grow until it's bigger and then do the weeding. But I won't bother with some of these fennel modules, definitely. Uh, radishes is fine. Uh, beetroot modules. Even the lettuce, some of the lettuce. And luckily, these have grown pretty quick. But again, it is a bit of a pain. Um, Zuna. Not one too bad, actually, because you can tell definitely the, the, the shape of the uh, the leaves. Um, but you can see that the um, have been picked by the pigeons to start with, and that some of the radishes have got maybe, maybe But they'll be edible. They'll be they'll be eaten. Uh, and so I've got this one to do. I'm not doing that one today because I'm going to try and wait for the carrots to come a bit more up. You can see them. And the rest will be just bloody weeds. Actually, I could weed that straight up the middle there. So I've done that side, I could do the middle there. I can't do between these two, bit close. Straight up that one I could do. simple. I thought I'd bring you up to start with that one. It's a bit, very windy still. A little bit cooler now. It's still warm but it's uh, a bit easier to work in. But I'm going to give it all a good water in now and then cover it all over again. See you later guys. Hi guys. Um, it's the end of the video for upload today. Uh, I haven't done too much. Um, simply because it's been so windy. Um, especially later this afternoon. Um, the polytunnels are um, a bit tidier. Things are starting to get put out. Um, tomatoes and all that, if you've seen. But I've also tidied a little bit of this corner up here and put some more tomato plants out. I've made a list as well of what I'm going to do tomorrow. Gherkins. Uh, Gherkin's going to go in there and I've decided to put some more, some lettuces uh, in here. I've got a couple of, well I've got four Lollarossas left and then some Vermaine or Vermand or whatever they're called uh, lettuces which I'm going to um, do one of each on here so they alternate, alternate up, up the front there because the grapevines up there, they're, low, they're not uh, deep rooting. So they'll they'll grow up there, and in the corner again, I'm going to put stuff like just a block of radish or something. Again, um, not deep rooting, so they'll grow quite happily there. Grapevine, I've got to sort out as well. The weekend, this bank holiday weekend, uh, and try and move some of it around. And some of the the runners at the back, the thin ones, I'm going to cut straight off. I'm going to get rid of them. Um, so that's the, the the stage of that. Some of the bigger air pots I'm going to be using for some chili plants that I've got left, and some other plants that um, I feel that could do well in them, and I can put them against the um, raised bed frontage here, a bit like the ones I've got over there. <coughs> There's a couple of chilies in there. Notice that the gooseberries are right there by the fruit trees. I've had a battery in and um, some of them have lost their new stems which has not been very good considering they are in uh, in honour of me, me far, late father. Uh, I've brought them in here so they're going to stay in here now uh, until the winds calm down and I can nurture them back into full health. I'm sure they'll be okay. Um, I'm not too sure whether to close the the vents up tonight so wind is coming through there but it's kept it cool not too hot it's about 13 14 degrees in here at the moment and it's quarter past nine but yeah i've still got all this rubbish to sort out but uh again weekend that's the job to be done um 
I won't show you back outside now. I'll do that tomorrow. Oh, 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 uh, anyway, there you go, guys. Um, I'll be gardening. Hope you're all doing okay. And I will speak to you later tomorrow. Uh, if you've liked the video, please put a thumbs up and put some comments. And also, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, and I will do some more uh, videos, as I said, over the weekend. And there'll be more tutorial kind of ones, I think. Um, of planting some of the various plants I have left to put in. The myriad of tomato plants uh, <laughs> I've got to put out. And the cabbage and some put in some more um bean um supports up etc anyway as mr Coleman says it's now time for the beer so i'll catch you guys later cheers bye